Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to another edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at a specialized crop command called a perspective crop that can be used to take care of keystoning or distortion in a photo. Oftentimes, if you shoot a photo from a low angle, you can get bending of perspective, creating a keystone effect where lines that should be perfectly boxed start to angle up at the corners. This is pretty easy to fix if you know how to use the perspective cropping feature. Let's see how. So I have a picture here, and the first thing we're going to do is get this photo straight. So let's go ahead, click on the eyedropper, and select the ruler tool, and then grab along the bottom edge here. We'll go ahead and drag along the bottom where it should be straight, and we could then specify image, rotate canvas, arbitrary, and it plugs it in and rotates that, which is good. The photo is a little bit closer to straight now. Now we can grab the crop tool, and what we're going to do is crop out the image as accurately as we can. We can go here on the bottom edge or drop that down to include it a little bit more. And what we're trying to do is get this so the edge here touches the corner. We'll actually go just a little bit bigger here on the left side to account for the fact that the corner is off screen and that works pretty well. What you then want to do is click the perspective button in the options bar, which enables perspective cropping. You can now grab a corner and pull this in. And what we're going to do is attempt to match the angle of the wall there. Notice how we're following the angle of the wall and we could pull this one in as well. And what we're doing here is matching the perspective bend. Now, to avoid cropping off all of the image, we'll just pull that back out to extend it once we've got the angles right. And we can click the return key, and you'll see that the cropping has been fixed. Now, in the process of making these changes, you'll sometimes get some distortion up and down in the image, but this is easy to fix with the free transform command. Simply select the layer and press Command or Control T to invoke the free transform command. We'll go ahead and double click to make this a layer and press Command T. And we can now stretch this image out a bit up and down. There we go. We got what we need. And we can press the return key. And some of the perspective has been accounted for. Now, you might have to do a little bit of additional stretching here and there to get the image exactly right. But that's already looking better. And we've got much of the distortion resolved. For understanding Adobe Photoshop, I'm Rich Harrington. Be sure to check out our resource blog at rastervector.com, and you'll want to check out there for news because there's something really cool coming very soon.